Hello there, I'm Coach Hairston. I'm the defensive coordinator at Lakeside School here in Seattle. Uh, today we're gonna to be going over our alignment assignment for our cover three, and uh, also discussing on how we use our cover three to handle all go special four verts out of 10 personnel with even formations. So first let's talk alignment. For us here at Lakeside, we are a four, two, five defense. We have three safeties. And, uh, and we use them in a number of different ways. We like to line our corners up no matter what our coverage is. Pre-snap, we are always five yards off the ball and one yard outside the widest wide receiver. So we are five by one. Both of our corners. And our safeties always start off flat-footed at eight yards deep. and our linebackers are at five yards with their heels on the line. <laughs> Normally what we would do in an even formation is we would have to bounce one of our linebackers and walk down one of our safeties, and that puts us in what we call a 4-1 box, but maybe we're playing a team that runs the ball a little bit more. We like to keep our numbers in the box a little bit heavier and not rely so much on our safeties to be in the fit from eight yards deep. We would call our cover three, which we call deuce solo, because uh, deuce is two and solo is one. So if you add that together, two, two plus one equals three. So that's how we identify our cover three with our student athletes. Um, we will assume that the field is this way, and if the field is this way, what we like to do is roll that safety down to what we call an apex position. Our apex position is five yards deep and in between the last man on the line of scrimmage and the uh, slot receiver. So we would walk our hawk safety down to five, and we would be what we refer to as apex. And that allows us to be on the hashes with our other two safeties. So then our rover safety, he would walk out here and be on the hash. And again, he's still flat-footed at eight yards deep. So without apexing our weak side backer, that allows us to keep six in the box and, and gives us a good advantage on the numbers as we fit in the run in our Hawk safety's apex position helps us both with the RPO and allows him to be closer to be ready to be in the fit. Um, so now we have to make sure that we even our numbers out here and, and the way we do that is with our backside safety, we will adjust him to be four to eight yards deep, depending on who we're playing and what this guy brings to the table. And our corner, and then the technique that we play here with these two is we play palms with these two. So palms is where we're gonna key number two, and we define anything as a vertical threat as ours, from uh, the guy in front of us, as a vertical threat, we define a vertical threat as anything deeper than five yards or linebacker depth. So we're gonna play palms over here, so both of these guys are reading number two and are essentially in man coverage. And on the back side over here, our corner is gonna play deep third. On set hike, our safety is gonna bail and roll, play middle third deep. And then our hawk safety is gonna play the flat. We're gonna play hook to curl here. Again, what's great about our linebackers and the way we communicate our drops for our backers is they're always 12, 12 and in, out, or on. They're either 12 yards on the hash, 12 yards outside, 12 yards and two yards outside of the hash, or 12 yards and two yards inside of the hash. So we're just what we call our, 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 hold, our uh, hook to curl drop, so we're 12 by two, 12 yards deep. Field is this way, we're to the hash. Our wheel backer is going to be our middle hole dropper. He's just going to drop straight back to 12. And then these two guys are going to take them out of the equation. So what that allows us to do is with these two guys covering and able to cover anything vertical, and we have our, our, our rover safety in our corner playing anything, any vertical threats, that allows us to have four people possibly playing vertical routes, which takes care of all, all go special or four verts and allows us to still outnumber people to the wide side of the field. We know in high school football, they like to swing backs and throw bubbles and things like that. It still gives us three versus two over here. 